All right, guys, just wanted to give a quick reminder that I was the guest on the latest episode of the Nuckhead podcast that released yesterday morning. Lots of fun to film. If you haven't checked it out already, be sure to go do so in the description down below of this video if you want to hear a ton of ridiculous takes that did not exactly age all too well. But yeah, anyways, you don't want to miss it. Check it out. And now on to today's video. So the Vancouver Canucks are in a very interesting position this offseason with two of their most notable free agents being Elias Lindholm and Nikita Zadorov. And if you're asking me what I think is actually going to happen with these two players, I do think that the Vancouver Canucks are going to re-sign at least one of them. And if I were to bet on who I think is going to stay, I'm leaning a little bit more towards Nikita Zadorov after hearing the 32 Thoughts podcast today, where they said that Zadorov would actually be willing to take a discount to stay in Vancouver. I think they know the number, but they're just working it out. So I do think that they will get Zadorov done. But as for Lindholm, though, it's a little bit more complicated because, yes, they did give up a ton to acquire him in the first place. And secondly, in terms of his performance... What we got him for was the playoffs, and he was great in the playoffs, so I think the feeling is mutual. He enjoyed his time in Vancouver, and the Canucks liked the player, so they're obviously going to take a run at him before he hits the open market, which is the smart decision. I think they should do that, but when it comes to the actual amount of money, it could be a little bit of a problem, because if you look at the Canucks' center depth right now, you have Elias Patterson and JT Miller, both players earning above $8 million. No team has three centers that make over $7 million. And although if you do sign Lindholm to a contract that exceeds $7 million, you would have a competitive advantage down the middle, then you're likely sacrificing the depth that you would try to be getting in the open market down the wings. So it really comes down to what you prioritize. And I think there's a fine line for the Vancouver Canucks because I'm torn as well. On one hand, I want to keep Lindholm, but you've addressed the need to get a winger for Elias Pettersson, and if you overpay for Elias Lindholm, then the question becomes, are you going to have enough money left over to be able to actually get someone for him? Of course, there are a couple of variables where it changes the narrative. The first thing I'm thinking of is if you move Elias Pettersson to play on the wing permanently, and then you just have Elias Lindholm as the 2C do you explore that option or do you want an $11.6 million player to be able to drive his own line and then just stick Lindholm permanently in the 3C position? Another thing is our prospects. We have one of the best prospects in the NHL coming up, Yonatan Lekarimaki. You don't know how he's going to translate into the NHL because he hasn't played a game yet, but do you put your faith in him to be Elias Pettersson's number one partner? That might be a little bit too much to ask out of a 20-year-old, but if we're being real, he has a real shot to make the actual lineup next year. So I don't know, obviously it could be a lot easier if we didn't have so much dead weight on our shoulders, but as I said in my last video, we don't have that luxury. We're going to have to deal with the cards that we've been given, and I want to ask you guys in the comment section below, what do you think that the Vancouver Canucks should do? Where is the line? What is the cap on what Elias Lindholm's salary should be starting next season. There have been reports today that the Canucks will be willing to offer Elias Lindholm a 7x7, or roughly something around there, but even that might not be enough. Do you go higher than that, or do you just tell him to walk? That is my question for you all in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Subscribe if you're new. Peace out, and take care.